Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. And I just want to take a very, very quick look today at the newest CyanogenMod Nightly. And I'm just taking a look at it because it includes the Pi feature, which you all know now has become famous thanks to Paranoid Android ROM. So we've talked about Pi a number of times. Uh, for those who are not familiar with it, it essentially takes advantage of expanded desktop mode. So if you have a device with on-screen navigation keys like the Galaxy Nexus, uh, you can go into expanded desktop mode and hide on-screen navigation keys so then you have the full screen to work with at all times. You know, a lot of people complain that on-screen navigation keys are terrible because they take up screen real estate. So with expanded desktop mode, you can hide those. Now, Pi allows you to set up sort of a swipe gesture from the bottom of your device or right or left or even top, though that doesn't necessarily make sense to me, and access your navigation keys. You can even add a search button in there. You can access notifications, look at your clock and all of that stuff. So that's why Pi is awesome. All right, so two things I wanted to show you is basically just that Pi is awesome. And the second thing is how to enable it in CM. So for some reason, maybe it's just because I'm way out of the loop when it comes to ROMs, it took me like 20 minutes to figure out how to enable this thing. So I wanna make sure nobody else runs into these issues. So let's talk about that real quick. Um, as you can see, I do not have anything enabled right now. Okay, so let's go over here and go to settings. Um, in the interface section, you'll see system, and then you'll see a section for Pi controls. So if I go and tap that, I want to check the box to enable it. Um, show search button means that a search button will show up as one of your navigation keys in Pi, so I definitely want that. You can adjust the size of the keys if you'd like. And then this is the section where you decide where you want to swipe from to access it. So you can do left border, or bottom, right, or even top again. You could do multiple spots in here, so you could have right, left, top, and bottom all enabled at one time if you want. I'm just gonna go with bottom for now. Okay, so let's back out of there. You can see Pi Controls enabled when expanded desktop mode is active. See that line? So expanded desktop mode is not active because you can still see I have on-screen keys. So this is what took me so long to figure out, right? In order to go into expanded desktop mode, again, I could just be an idiot, but this took me way too long and made absolutely no sense. But you have to go into power menu first and you'll see expanded desktop. Okay, it's disabled, so I tap that. Now I want it to show in just my power menu. This is not me enabling expanded desktop mode, I'm just showing it in my power menu. So I'm just gonna use this one, status bar, visible. All right, so I'm gonna go back home, and now I'm gonna long press to get, long press power to get to my power menu, and there you will see expanded desktop. So it's disabled, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap that, and there we go, navigation key's gone, my desktop is now expanded. So in, in order to utilize Pi, it's a swipe up and there are your Pi buttons. So I'm gonna go home. And I can swipe and hold and then you'll see clock. You'll also see no service because I don't have a SIM in there. It shows the date, my battery remaining and the Wi-Fi network I'm on. Ne Wi-Fi network I'm on, sorry. Uh, I would also assume that's gonna show notifications like Pi does, but since I don't have any notifications right now, I can't necessarily prove that to you. So that's how you access Pi. So I can swipe up and get to recent tasks, if I have any, which it doesn't look like I do. Oh, I do have a couple. I can swipe up and search and say, get right into Google now. I can swipe and go back or home or, you know, what have you. So it's it's, it's really simple way to sort of navigate your device while utilizing your entire screen. So I'll show you if I go into like the browser, I've got Droid Life up, you see the browser comes all the way down to the bottom. So it really makes your screen look big and like it should like taking up all the space that it should be. You no longer have a row of navigation keys taking up space down there. So if you wanna get back to anywhere, you could just go home, again, multitask, all this stuff. And you can set these up to swipe from all different areas. And actually, if I hold this, you'll see these half circles on the left and right. Those are actually other hotspots. So you can actually, I believe you can choose those. Well, I thought you could, but, oh, there we go. So I did actually just activate this spot by hovering over that. So you can see that's a quick way to sort of switch your hotspots around. So kind of cool. Anyway, that's Pi. I just wanted to show you quickly also how to activate in case those of you were wondering. Um, and uh, we're Droid Life. Peace.